Little cricket. Okay, inside joke. You had to be there backpacking trip. Anyway, that's the reason. That's the reason why I th- when I throw out those invites to come backpacking, you really should come along. Anyways, with that being said, the old coot here coming at you with another exciting video. Now I think forever stamped with the seal of <laughs> my own personal pocket knife of being the little cricket. That's a whole. That's a whole thing. Okay, we'll get into that. Anyways, personal creations. What a great company. I am touched. I am truly touched and impressed at the quality of this knife. I've just been like playing around with it a little bit. And I have to say they, Personal Creations really did a nice job on this. They do a a whole array of products that you can personalize with initials, engravings, you know, different logos, that kind of stuff. And wow, for being like a nice little EDC knife that's made out of stainless steel, something I can like open boxes with, take with me on backpacking trips, cut cheese and salami with or whatever. It's a great little knife. It's got a good weight to it. You know, I would say this is probably somewhere close to maybe like 14 ounces or so. Very nice stainless steel. We'll get into all this in a second. But once again, my thanks and kudos to this company for quick, quick turnaround time, by the way, as well. I mean, this was like less than a week, like from the time I, from the time I requested an order to the time I got it was literally like, like less than a week. So hopefully your orders are processed just as quickly. Uh, and that is a true testament to this company, how quickly professionally the quality and all that good stuff I have to say, but they do everything. They do mugs, cups, anyways, you get the idea. Uh, so anyways, with that being said, uh, I do like the construction, you know, very well done. Obviously, they did LIL for Little, uh, which was supposed to be, <laughs> supposed to be the nickname of mine, uh, the Little Cricket on some of the trips that I go on with a certain group of people that I go with. Um, Chris and Alan, I absolutely cherish you guys. You guys are the real treasure of the goddamn San Gabriel Mountains up there. Keep doing what you're doing, and uh, hopefully I will be joining you. I'm asking you to join me soon on a trip, but I think I'll be joining you soon on a trip faster than you can join me. Anyways, with that being said, here's the knife itself. Uh, it does come uh, wrapped in this beautiful plastic, kind of protected during shipping, all that good stuff. And then it does have a nice little carrying case with it. So you do get uh, this. I do love the double stitching here. So there is double stitching, right, which prevents all that fraying there and all that good stuff. It does come with a little uh, belt loop, right, so you can attach this to your belt. Very nice hook and loop closure, Velcro, if that's what you want to call it. You know, you name it, you get the idea. Uh, but here is the knife itself. So the knife itself, uh, I ordered I ordered this in this color with these three letters. Very nice engraving work in here. And that's, that's a nice little level of engraving as well. Uh, what I might do is maybe, you know, take some uh, linseed oil or something over this. It does have a protective coating, by the way. So I might take some linseed oil regardless and just kind of go over it and just kind of, you know, help with the uh, preservation of the wood and all that good stuff, but very well constructed. So here's this side. Let me show you the backside of water right here. It comes with a very nice belt clip. Uh, this is stainless steel. Here's my handy dandy magnet. Dink. So the clip is stainless steel. The knife is stainless steel. Obviously, some of these rivets are also, you know, the rivets and all that good stuff also steel. I would imagine they're stainless steel as well, uh, which is pretty good, you know, a testament to the quality of just, you know, for like a beater knife that you just want to take around, cut some cheese, some salami, you know, whatever it is, take with you. You know, you need like short little projects where you just need something cut. Pretty good. Easy to operate with one hand. Love this opening right here, right? I'm doing this in slow motion so you can kind of see what's going on just as slow as I can, but very, very nice, good uh, attenuation of the opening of the knife. Like I'm sure I can do this at full speed and it would be a lot quicker, but look at and hear that click. I don't know if you heard that click. Uh, to deactivate the knife, basically you would move this to the side and then obviously bring your knife back in very gently, very gingerly. There we go. So you can close it back up again and get it to click back. Uh, but as I open this up and let's get it all the way open. Here you go. There's your stainless steel made in China. You know, pretty decent for what it is for the price point and for the, for the personalized touch of the engraving and everything else. Like I said, I'm quite pleased with this. Uh, these holes here, I guess I'm assuming are for like a lanyard if you want to go ahead and attach that or that kind of vibe, uh, but also to, to cut down on the weight. It's a pretty hefty knife. You know, I, I do love the palm feel and the feel in the hand. It feels like it's somewhere in the ballpark of maybe 14 ounces, uh, 15 ounces or so, which is a really good, you know, size and weight for this kind of a knife. Um, here's it in my hands. Let me show you with the tape measure real quick. We'll bring that in just so you can kind of see like in the hand, here's my fingers and my hands together. So basically about four inches or so 
uh, give or take from the pummel to the end, it's going to be four and three quarters. I'll do a better measurement in a second here, but just to show you all with the measuring tape of what it would feel like in the hand, love the jimping up here, right? Gives you more stability, more of like a nice, you know, grip on the knife as you're using it. Great for fine detail work sharp as hell. Oh my God. Like I can just feel with my fingertips. Like that is pretty damn sharp. If I had both hands to be, I'm holding the camera in one hand, my hand in the other. If I had both hands, I could probably shave some, some hair with this off of my forearms and the other hairiness that's on my body. Sasquatch. Okay. With that being said, the pummel itself, love this point back here. You know, in an emergency situation, will this break through a car window if you absolutely needed to? I'm sure it probably would. Uh, but there you go. But from the pummel, to the handle, you're looking at around like four and a half inches and then total total length of the knife is somewhere around seven. Yeah, let's call it like just shy over seven and three quarter inches. So it's just over seven and three quarters. Uh, my eye, there you go. That's a, that's a better representation of where you're lining up right there. So just over seven and a quarter, almost eight inches. So that's pretty nice. Let's look at total blade cutting length, right? The cutting length itself is right around three inches. Uh, actually three and a quarter inches. So if I adjust the camera correctly, there you go. There's about three and a three and a quarter inches. So very nice, very nice length of a blade to have just as like an EDC carry something I would take backpacking for sure. Maybe bicycle trips, that kind of vibe, you know, your fishing trips. If you want to go ahead and do that, it's nice that it's stainless steel. You know, if you are going to be around some kind of a salt environment and you, you are going to take the blade with you. Just rinse it off with clean, fresh water after, you know, after you use it. Sometimes you don't realize like this could be in the pouch on your belt loop. You go out fishing for the day. You don't realize all that fine mist salt, you know, that kind of gets in everywhere. So just give it a good rinse when you get home or whatever. And there you go. Uh, belt clip is very nice. I do like um, the the ruggedness of the loop itself. I mean, that's pretty solid on there. Do love the, the ability that it is serviceable, right? So you could always take these two apart and go ahead and service it if you needed to. Uh, and once again, as mentioned, this wood is amazing. Very nicely done. Very nicely finished. It's got like a smooth little finish to it. And I will hit this with some linseed oil, uh, as mentioned, just to kind of get it there. But I kudos, kudos to personal creations for actually doing this for me. And uh, what a great knife. I'm very impressed. Very, I'm touched. I'm I'm really touched. I'm getting, I'm getting so emotional. I'm very touched. Uh, let's look at the blade thickness. I know it's another one that a lot of people are asking about. Uh, there goes my phone. Let me pause for a second. Call from unknown. Anyways, we are back. Okay, so we're looking at about an eighth of an inch in blade thickness, right? There's my two. There's between two. There you go. You get the idea. Uh, but just about an eighth of an inch at the thickest part of the blade. There's what your profile looks like. I love the fact that there's aeration in there, right, for proper drainage. So as mentioned, if you are going to bring this into a water environment with you, like if you are going to go freshwater fishing, saltwater fishing, whatever, even just schwitzing in your hand, like sweating, you know that there's some good aeration there. Here's the backside of water, what this would look like if you were holding in your hand. There's obviously the jimping for your thumb. Love this cutout right here. Uh, sharp as heck, as mentioned, that that blade is pretty dang sharp. Let me show you right there. Let's try to grab some focus of the actual edge itself. And there you go. Pretty, pretty dang sharp. There's a couple burrs there. You know, I might touch up with like a, a strop and some compound material or whatever. But overall, you know, right out of the box for your normal EDC use, if you want to use it as a box opener or whatever, uh, a can opener, whatever you want to do with this thing, sky's the limit. I would say it's pretty damn sharp straight out of the box. So very nicely done, very well constructed. Anyways, if you do like what you're seeing, I will put a link to Personal Creations landing page, right? So you can check out their other products if you're specifically interested in this blade. And, you know, going through the process of, of customization and all that good stuff. I should turn this over this way. But, well, just so you can all see. I will put a link to the blade as well down there so you can check that out. Anyways, very impressed. Very nice job. Uh, personal touch. You know, think about the opportunities for this. You could gift this to someone that you know, a buddy, a friend, loved one, whatever. Also an office type environment, right? Let's say, you know, 
kudos to the people at like the postal service and UPS and FedEx that deliver everything. Maybe you want to do coworker to coworker and you want to say, Hey, you know, you're always using blades out in the field, cutting open, you know, ties and zip ties and whatever else and whatever, uh, you know, this would be something that maybe somebody might want to have in their kit movie industry. I'm a cameraman. So that would be something else, you know, just in the movie biz, like we're always cutting tape and, you know, stuff and whatever. I mean, this would be another great thing, you know, to gift somebody also in the, you know, give it to your crew as a, as a crew present. Like if you're a cinematographer and you want to hook up your cameraman, just saying camera people, camera women, camera, however you want to identify, just saying <laughs> grip and electric department would love this, love this, especially if you can get, you know, the initials of like your crew members, uh, you can do one, two or three, I think. And then I'm not sure uh, what other variations of initials you can also put on there, some logos maybe or something, you know, talk to them, talk to personal creations, uh, put a link down below, send them an email, all good stuff. Talk to them, see what, see what they can be, see what they can do with you and your specific situation. Anyways, if you like what you're seeing, links are down below in the description section. Make sure to check those out. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button down there below. And also comment. If there's something that you want to see on this channel in a future video, comment in the comment section down there below. And I can try my best. I can't promise anything, but I can try my best to try to acquire, attain, somehow somehow get a hold of whatever it is you'd like me to test on this channel. Uh, and we'll try to get it and review it and do all that good stuff. If you have any comments about other other you know stuff you want to just shoot the breeze or whatever, just comment down below. Anyways, with that being said, like button, subscribe button, and I will catch you all on the next exciting video.